and we move down to the start now of the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. We have St George's College and Monmouth School away with their start. And we're out of the start there, but we'll be moving to the live pictures of this crew. So this is an interesting development here. If I'd had to put my money on this race, I'd probably put it on Monmouth, who are in the uh, yellow and uh, brown on the right-hand side of this picture. They haven't, uh, haven't done too well in recent history, but I expected them um, from recent form to be doing rather well in this race. They're up against St George's College on the left of the picture there. I don't think they've voted an eight in quite a little while, so this is going to be quite a tight one, it appears, as we come up towards the enclosures already. Yes, incredible. Uh, the Monmouth School in the Buck Station on the right-hand side of your screen, and it's basically neck and neck. We haven't seen many races uh, in the opening rounds that are this tight. I mean, imagine going out on your first day with a race this close. Uh, incredible performances here from the two crews from St George's College and Monmouth School. There's not much in it in terms of difference for weight and, and power between these two boats, but the winner of this race goes on to face the uh, Melbourne Grammar School that we saw beat Great Marlow just a few races ago, and that is going to be a really tough next round to be a part of. That will take place tomorrow, but it looks as though St, uh, St George's College are making the best of this here. They've built up to nearly a length's lead coming up towards the enclosures, which is a pretty insurmountable distance to try and come back from for Monmouth now. And interestingly, the crew from St George's who are in the lead on the Bark Station, they're a little bit younger. They're about 15, 16, a couple of the athletes are 17 years of age, whereas the crew from the Monmouth score a little bit older, about 17, 18. So it is a slightly younger outfit there from St George's crew over in the Bucks station with about a length lead as they come towards the enclosures uh, in this race of the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. Well, Monmouth are making them work for it. Uh, St George's College have lifted the rating up to 36 strokes a minute. Clearly, that's been their finishing burn there. Coxon will have said, right, we're coming up to the enclosures. Time to put on a bit of a show of what we've got to, to demonstrate here today. They've lifted up the rating to 36, so a bit of an early, earlier burn for the finish than Monmouth School. They're still striking 34. They'll need to lift it a couple of gears if they want to get back into contention now. Um, and we can see and we can hear the crowds now as the athletes come down towards the enclosures. It's such an, a special regatta, both for the crowds to be that physically close to the boats and to the rowers. You can practically see into the boats uh, from the enclosures there, but also for the rowers to have the crowd so close and cheering them on. You literally can hear the voices and the people uh, shouting out to you. So it is such a special event and it's one of the things that I know that I really loved about my time racing here. But as they come down to the line now, it is the St George's College crew in the Bark Station that will take this win. But boy, it was tied all the way down the track, but they moved out to just over a length lead over the crew from Monmouth School in the Bucks Station in the yellow row suits there. So the win in the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup to the St George's College crew over Monmouth.